My name is Alicia Alt, and I'm a Rotary Global Grant Scholar from Alexandria, Virginia, being hosted by the Rotary Club of Hove here in the UK. I'd like to share a bit of my background, studies, and experience of life in the UK with you. I'm currently completing a master's degree in development studies at the University of Sussex in IDS, which is short for the Institute of Development Studies. Before pursuing this degree, I worked in community development at a public housing authority in Virginia, and subsequently with an international law firm in Washington, D.C. I also spent a bit of time working abroad in Equatorial Guinea with an international NGO focused on health. While I planned to pursue a master's degree in development for a long time, the Rotary Global Grant Scholarship made this possible during an especially difficult year. I chose to study IDS as I'm drawn to its commitment to building a more sustainable and equitable world for all. It's also ranked first in the world for development studies, both as an academic institution and as a think tank. IDS is also known for its critical approach to development. Balancing optimism with an academically rigorous approach to the field of development is a skill I think I've certainly honed this year. While I was able to gain a background in subjects typical to the field, like economics, I was also able to explore important yet often overlooked aspects of development, such as the idea of unruly politics, and its role in social change. But on top of this, I think one of the most valuable experiences of this year has been the opportunity to meet peers with similar academic interests from all over the world. Despite the circumstances of the pandemic, I've made friends with peers from India, Italy, Mexico, and many other countries. We've been able to, experience our, to share our experiences from our countries and learn from each other. Unfortunately, this first began in an online environment, but as things began to open up, we've also been able to have these exchanges in person, both academic exchanges, but also cultural. We've shared food, music, and dance together, and ultimately, I think that having gone through this experience together in such difficult circumstances has strengthened our friendships and networks. Of course, this is not to overlook how difficult of an academic year this has been. My peers and I have gone through two lockdowns in the UK. Many of us missed spending holidays with our families, which was especially difficult. Yet, we've also found ways to cope. For example, as a course representative, we developed initi an initiative to support students in their mental health, as this became a clear need in our student community during the lockdown. Personally, although I've found the lockdown quite difficult, or lockdowns, I should say, I also learned how resilient and adaptable I am to change under such circumstances. And despite this tumultuous year, I've had the opportunity to work as a research assistant with IDS while pursuing my studies. I've been working with an international consortium on a project seeking to strengthen transparency and accountability for inclusive development in Mozambique. This work has also helped to inform my master's dissertation, which I'm currently working on. In the dissertation, I'm examining development projects funded by corporate social responsibility initiatives, uh, funded by the oil and gas industry in Equatorial Guinea, a topic which piqued my interest after spending some time working there some years ago. I'm looking into how the relationships between NGOs implementing development projects there, multinational oil and gas companies, and the local government and local communities shape the nature and delivery of community-focused development projects in the country. Now, on a lighter note, I also wanted to share a bit about what life is like in the UK and especially in Brighton where I currently live. To me, the greatest advantage of living in the UK has been the easy access to hiking and walking all around the country. I've been lucky enough to be able to take a few trips this summer to places like the Peak District, Wales, and Cornwall, and have been completely blown away by the unique beauty of each region. Even here in Brighton and East Sussex, we're spoiled with easy access to the sea and also to the South Downs, which is a national park surrounding Brighton. This access to nature made the lockdown bearable, in my opinion. So now that things are opening up, I've also been able to witness a bit of Brighton's unique character, which includes being able to just walk down to the sea along the promenade and hear live music from one of the many groups busking on the promenade. Now, in addition to living in Brighton, I've also been very lucky to be hosted by a Rotary family here in the UK, which has felt like having a bit of a home away from home. 
We've been lucky to go for walks and even enjoy a typical English roast dinner together. I think this host-scholar relationship is very special and also what makes Aurora 